Hey guys, welcome back to Primary. This is so exciting. We have a new month. We have a new year. We have a new theme in Primary this year. Lots of great stuff going on. But before we get to any of that, we are going to have a welcome song to help us get those wiggles out. So I want everybody to stand up. Stand up, make sure you have lots of room because Trevor and Ryan Vanderhorst are going to lead us in Once There Was a Snowman. All right, great job, guys. Okay, before we head into our lesson, we just have one more thing we have to do. We are going to sing the first article of faith. you to introduce you to our family's good buddy Crunchy the Crocodile. Crunchy likes to live in our basement where it is dark and cool. And something else that Crunchy loves is Crunchy loves the scriptures. And he was so excited when he found out that this year in primary we are going to learn about the Doctrine and Covenants and church history. So you guys probably remember that last year we focused a lot on Book of Mormon. And the year before that we focused a lot on the New Testament. So this year, we get to focus on Doctrine and Covenants and church history, okay? And for our lesson today, we are going to learn about four themes that come up in the Doctrine and Covenants that are pretty important ones, okay? And we don't have much time, so we only get to do four, all right? And we have some special primary friends who have agreed to help us out with our lesson today by reading some scriptures. So the very first thing that we are going to talk about is this picture. Okay, I want everybody to look at this picture. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. This is a picture of Joseph Smith's first vision. And I'm sure most of you know the story really well of Joseph Smith's first vision. Okay, Rachel Halverson is going to read some scripture verses out of the Joseph Smith history that talk about Joseph's first vision. I kneeled down, down and began to offer up the desires of my heart to God. I saw a pillar of light exactly over my head above the brightness of the sun which descended gradually until it fell upon me i saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description standing above me in the air one of them called one of them spake unto me calling me by name thank you rachel okay here's something i want to point out about joseph smith's first vision one of i think the most important lessons that we can learn from reading the story of joseph's vision is that God hears each of us individually and he knows us. He knows us by name and he hears our prayers. So we are going to introduce a brand new song for you guys to learn this year. The song is called My Own Sacred Grove. Now I want you to listen very carefully because this is important. There are two ways that you can practice this song at home. The first way is just to come back to my video, the January 3rd video, to re-watch the song over and over and over. The second way is if you go to the description of this video, there's going to be a link. And if you click on that link, it will take you directly to the video so you can watch it without having to fast forward through a bunch of stuff. All right, now I want you guys to practice this song a lot. Try and come back and practice it as much as you can so that you can learn it really well. So that when we all get back together at church and see each other face to face again, whenever that might be, then we will all know the song and we won't have to practice it so much. The song is called My Own Sacred Grove, and here it is. Joseph Smith went to a grove full of trees, seeking God. 
God's wisdom he fell to his knees As he pled with the heavens the sky filled with light And the Father appeared with his Son Jesus Christ Standing above in the air Coming to answer his prayer I will find my own sacred grove With so much at stake Lives full of pathways But which should I take? If I lift up in prayer In the name of the Son Through the power of the Holy Ghost Answers will come Heavenly Father is there Ready to answer my prayer I will find my own sacred grove restoration of the priesthood and we have Eli Cope who is going to read a scripture in Doctrine and Covenants about the restoration of the Aaronic priesthood. Doctrine and Covenants 13 1. Upon you my fellow servants in the name of Messiah I confer the priesthood of Aaron and this shall never be taken again from the earth. Thanks Eli. Okay so if you look at my pictures right here all right this picture is a picture of when the Aaronic priesthood was restored, and this is John the Baptist, and he is giving Oliver Cowdery and Joseph Smith the Aaronic priesthood. And then sometime later, Peter, James, and John came, and they gave Oliver Cowdery and Joseph Smith the Melchizedek priesthood. Okay, The restoration of the priesthood in the latter days was incredibly important because the priesthood is the authority to act in God's name, doing the things that God wants us to do. And without the priesthood, we would not be able to have temple blessings. We wouldn't be able to take the sacrament. We wouldn't be able to get baptized. We wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things or make a lot of the sacred covenants that we have the privilege of making today if we didn't have the priesthood. Okay. The song we're going to sing is called The Priesthood is Restored. And most of you probably don't actually know this song, and that's okay. If you want to try and sing along, then go ahead and do it. But don't worry too much if you don't know the song at all.
next important theme that we're going to learn about in the Doctrine and Covenants is missionary work. And Spencer Brothers is going to read a verse about missionary work. Doctor and Covenants, chapter 42, verse 6. And ye shall go forth in the power of my spirit, preaching my gospel two by two in my name, lifting up your voices as with the sound of a trump, trump declaring my word un, like unto angels of God. Thank you, Spencer. Missionary work is incredibly important to the gospel. It is so important that the Lord has asked that we all try to be good missionaries and spread the gospel whenever we can, that we should pray for opportunities to be able to share the gospel with others. So missionary work is really important, and we want everybody to be able to hear the gospel. So the song we're going to sing is one that we really don't sing in primary, but you've probably heard it at church, and it's called Called to Serve. This is the 186th semi-annual General Conference of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. right away. I want you to listen to Adam Fisher reading in the Doctrine and Covenants and I want you to listen very carefully and I want you to see if you can figure out what this scripture is about. Organize yourselves, prepare every needful thing, and establish a house, even a house of prayer, a house of fasting, a house of faith, a house of learning, a house of glory, a house of order, a house of God. Thank you, Adam. Okay, if you're not quite sure what Adam was reading about, then go ahead and rewind the video just a little bit and listen to him read the scripture again and see if you can figure out what it's about, okay? But if you're ready, then keep going. Okay, does anybody know what that scripture was about? Can you tell me? Okay, say it a little bit louder. I don't think I heard you. Great job. If you said temples, that's what that scripture is about. The Lord is commanding us to build temples. I have here two important temples in our church history. This here is the Kirtland Temple, and this was the first temple that the pioneers built. This temple is the Nauvoo Temple, and this is the second temple that the pioneers built. And of course, 
you guys probably all know this temple. This is the Salt Lake Temple, and that one's just like an hour north of us. How cool is that? Temples are extremely important, okay? In temples, we make sacred covenants and we receive important ordinances in order to return home to Heavenly Father. So you can imagine how incredibly important temples are. We need temples and we need good Latter-day Saints who want to visit the temple often. And I hope that you guys become the kind of people who love to visit the temple like I do, okay? Now we're going to sing, I love to see the temple. <laughs> that's our lesson today guys thanks for coming before we close out I'd like to bear my testimony and I would like to tell each and every one of you that I know that the gospel is true I know that Heavenly Father and Jesus live I know that they love each one of you very much I know that they hear your prayers I know that they know your name and I know that they will answer your prayer it might not always be when you'd like it answered and it might not always be the answer you want but they will answer it I have a firm testimony that Joseph Smith was the prophet of the restoration that he translated the book of mormon and that through him the lord restored his church to the earth again and i'm so grateful for the opportunity to know the gospel in the name of jesus christ amen